Joe here just wanted to do an introduction to our next series uh, of Joe Bills with Ben and Ben Bills with Joe season 8 took a, a little bit of a hiatus on these and we are happy to be back to it uh, always been talking to Ben hang out with him you know and uh, we always knew we were gonna do another one but um, we actually had a different aircraft plan for this time around but we decided to change it up just because you know certain events in the world but uh we've decided to go with the tamiya 148 scale douglas f4d-1 sky ray and uh, here you see it um this is a a cool little kit and a very cool uh aircraft cold war aircraft in fact it was designed in uh, 1947 was when the concept came around um, for a fighter aircraft that could intercept and destroy an enemy aircraft at an altitude of 50,000 feet within five minutes of being scrambled. So a very hot, uh, fast climbing aircraft is what was intended. They also wanted a tailless, tailless aircraft, much like the uh, Horton 229 or the ME 163. Uh, those scientists uh, were sharing ideas <laughs> with the Americans after the war and uh, you know if you if you want to go look that up you can I believe it's project pencil or project eraser I can't remember um, and uh, they decided that the tailless tailless aircraft was the way to go for this particular thing because the ME 163 was a very very fast climbing aircraft um, didn't have much else to it but there was that. And then this particular Skyray, the F4D did not last very long. It had a short lifespan of 1956 to 1964. Never saw combat, but it did break the world speed record uh, for aircraft at the time at about 752 miles per hour or 1,211 kilometers per hour um, very very fast very nimble aircraft um, did carry armament uh, a lot of times those armaments were covered up because they were going for speed records and, and things like that again this never saw combat not one minute um, had some engine issues at first they had expected to get one type of engine and they didn't get that at first and so when the the initial engines and jet engines were put in it didn't do so well uh and then finally when they did come around to it they uh they finally got it to where they needed it to be um and it uh it was an impressive impressive aircraft uh, again not a combat aircraft but uh very cool nonetheless and really one of those unique designs here you can see what we got um, let's see if I can get you in camera. Yeah. 
Very unique design. Very cool aircraft, and Ben and I are very excited to build this. Uh, I took all the plastic bags off and everything, just so everyone could see it a little bit better. Recessed panel lines, very detailed. You can do this with the wings folded up. I don't think I will, but you can do that. Some clear bits. See our cockpit in there. We will not be doing any uh, add-on parts. Thought about it. There's a resin cockpit. We'll we'll see. I don't know. It's it it's dependent on the ejection seat because there's two different types of ejection seats. There is the Douglas one, and then there is another one which slips my mind at the moment, and I am not seeing it. So, well, there it is. And we might need to do. Hmm, we might have to do a different seat. I don't know. Some very cool variants that we're looking into, but I think we're going to end up doing the 114. The, uh, I was looking for actual decals from another one. They do have an, um, the sea blue, dark sea blue version of this for the Navy as well. And I was like, ooh, that's tempting. I kind of want to do that, but I have a lot of aircraft that should be in that particular color scheme. So I'm going to hold off on that uh, because I do have a Panther that I kind of want to do in that and a few others. So anyways, that's what we got going on. And as always, very excited to build with my buddy Ben. Um, over at Ben Builds, so go check him out. Links are in the description. Um, I'm sure by now you all know the series, and always a blast. Always, always a blast. And enjoy talking with Ben, going to our hobby days when we can get out to uh, the local hobby shop, and just talking with him. The guy is immensely knowledgeable on aircraft. It's it's unbelievable. It's like a walking encyclopedia. So you're going to learn a lot more about this one, probably from him, and uh, I can't wait to get started on this. So until next time, I hope you all are doing well. I hope you are taking care of yourself both mentally and physically, and until next time, take care.